Tennessee ranks number one in the country in offense. In 2020, the year before Josh Heupel took over, the Vols ranked 102nd in offense just two years ago. It's a small uh, It's a big leap. increase in a short amount of time. Very impressive. With not a ton of turnover Mm-mm. personnel-wise, you know, in that short amount of time. Guys Look, that were I, the 102nd offense, now the first offense. I like that he's a likable guy because you know how uh, easy it would be for me to – try to punch holes in it but he's a likable guy and he's done great work it's hard to punch holes in anything, anything even for a guy you don't like with the results they're doing yeah. a year and a half in especially when you've got Jimbo Fisher and Brian Kelly um having people make excuses for them I've never heard Josh Heupel make one excuse no. on what he inherited so he's done terrific work and uh I would love to see it extend into it's Saturday. It is yeah. tough to. Oh, what a what a ripple is, effect that could have. It is tough to even state just the remarkable quick turnaround, just based on what he inherited and where Tennessee was perception wise. I mean, NCAA investigation, almost forty guys leaving the program. It looked like a dumpster fire that he took over, and they had a really good first year, and they're having a terrific second season. It, it, it's been incredible to watch. I saw Pete Sampson, who covers Notre Dame also, uh, say that was the worst home loss in the history of Brian Kelly as a Division I coach on Saturday that at home for LSU against Tennessee. But he said, it's really hard to find Grand Valley State statistics. But he was going through Grand Valley State records to see if he had a worse <laughs> loss as a coach, even at a different level as a head coach. Big part of that makes me, you know, the style of play this is obviously a big part of it. So if you're taking over a, a, a program with history or any program, Power 5 program, makes me wonder, like, it, you know, should you just bring a new style of play, a different style of play? If, if you're a good enough coach that can do that, is that a path to, if you can get the kids to do it, is that a path to getting better? Well, usually it's a path, path for failure because <laughs> you're inheriting something that they do this one thing and they have the personnel fit for that. And now when I try to do something totally different, it's going to be even worse than what they were doing before. So it's a very unique set of circumstances at Tennessee. I'd certainly look hey, at what they've done. Speaking of not likable, Brian Kelly. Put him on the list of coaches who are not very likable. 